Good morning. We're just approaching the village of Flixton. Lovely sunny day. So if we turn camera, Flixton's out in front, and I just want to lay a, and I just want to relay a short account. I think we're going back to 2015, probably 2016. I've got the exact date in front of me. I uh, wrote about it in the first book, Truth Proof One. It involves a, a young couple traveling home. They've been to York for a day, and they're, uh, they've got the two young children back in the back of the car, fast asleep. And they're traveling down this road, just minding their own business. There's nothing untoward, apart from these motorbikes. No interest in the paranormal or the unexplained, as per usual with most people. And as this lady's in the passenger seat, approaching this roundabout, she sees something. Remember, it's night time, 11 o'clock at night, it's lit up. You see where them chevrons are on roundabout, and she sees a large animal, which she thinks is a deer or something. Then she realises that it's something crouched down. And the street lights, she can see it lit up. And just there, on the roundabout, she claims she sees something squatted in the shape of a huge dog. But when we're talking about huge dog size, she's talking about something the size of a small horse or a pony. That's how big she says it was. She asked her husband to stop the car as they left the roundabout, lock the doors, and she proceeded to try and tell him what she'd just seen. He turned the car around, they did a few circuits of the roundabout and saw nothing. Absolutely nothing. Did she imagine it? What would project such an image onto the roundabout? What would make a person think that they'd seen something that can only be described as a werewolf? Which is ridiculous, isn't it? I say it every time. How could that happen? Yet it did. Do you know, and if we look up onto those uh, hills there, that's Staxton Wold and Flixton Wold, and there's lots of stories that go back into the annals of folklore about this creature. Hello everyone. We're just driving towards Haysthorpe now, just out of Carnaby in Bridlington. And we're going to talk big black dogs, we're going to talk wolves, or something from black dog law, because if we look forward, uh, I think it was about five or six years ago, there were some guys guarding some wind turbine equipment on security. And that path that we've just passed now, they saw a huge black dog, far bigger than a normal dog, uh, travel up the fields, running up the fields past their compound where they're guarding this equipment. And although I might have touched on this before, it's relevant today because there's been a, a wolf sighting in the forests around Scarborough, and that's not the first one. And obviously everybody knows who lives in the UK, we don't have wolves that are native to the United Kingdom. So what are they seeing? And if we go back into the annals of folklore, we hear lots and lots of reports of the huge phantom hounds with glowing red eyes all the way up and down the East and North Yorkshire coast, primarily North Yorkshire. But it's the black dog law. People have sightings of these dogs. Are they dogs? What, what, what are they that people are seeing? Because surely a big animal, probably in between 90 and 150 pounds in weight, obviously needs food. It needs sustenance. So just what are these animals? Are they something else? Are they some kind of paranormal apparition? Jumping back to the Haysthorpe sighting, of about five or six years ago, the security guard saw this animal run up the field and past their compound. A driver with his wife at the, also saw it cross the road. It shocked them so much that he pulled the car over and he went up into the field to speak to the security men to see if they'd actually seen this. Well, they had. What's interesting, if we look that way, over onto those fields, you're looking onto Carnaby. And I know you're only getting fleeting glimpses as this car passes by, but that's the Carnaby Industrial Estate. And CCTV have picked up a huge black dog 
running along the sides of a compound on one, the, one of the industrial estate units. Interestingly enough, an Apache helicopter was also seen around the same time flying low over the Carnaby industrial estate with a camera on it looking around the fields what was it looking for so the phantom hounds of folklore the huge black dogs are they still being seen in present time and are we just dressing them up with different words but I think this was of relevance due to the fact that social media and other places in the Scarborough area present day I think it's March the 26th 2024 are reporting seeing a wolf or a wolf-like creature in the forests. So, Paul Sinclair for Truth Proof. If you like what we're talking about, these short accounts of the strange and unusual, please press the like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. And before we end, my little companion, Bobby. Thank you.